I didn't know you could cook, Mrs. Connor. I can't. Sorry if the baker's a little overdone. I have staffing issues. Carl is helping you. No problem, right? Well, I never thought I'd see the day. Listen, Alice has called in sick, all right? I'm doing a good deed. So much is changing around here. I don't like it. I'm starving. So should you be after that, sir. Just nervous about my shift. I'll be there. I know that pub like the back of my hand. Yeah, if it's still the same pub. Jenny won't change it that much. Will there be tables? Of course there'll be tables. Well, with some of these modern places, you never know. You might end up sitting in space pods or something. Space pods? Like in Blade Runner. I'm pretty sure there were tables in Blade Runner. Uh, there'll still be tables, won't there? We won't have to sit in pods. There will definitely be tables, even seats. Uh, Dark board? Ah. Oh, come on. Well, dolls are very old-fashioned. We'll have new forms of entertainment. I take it Betty's photo's still on the wall. <coughs> that is out of order. You didn't even know Betty. I didn't know my grandma, but she's still my grandma, innit? Somebody had to drag that place into the 21st century. Just, just wait until tonight. I swear you won't be disappointed. Right. Here we go. Oh, well, there's a bit of a surprise, really. How wonderful to have all that money. Yeah, what to do with it, though? I would buy a new motorhome. I miss the open road. <laughs> Being able to get out into the countryside at a drop of a hat. <laughs> right, I'm getting lunch today, Claudia. In my experience, that means either a job offer or an apology. And this isn't a job offer. <clears throat> OK, I've hit another stumbling block with the money. Look, I can't wait forever, Maria. I've got other people who are interested. I'm a really good hairdresser. You know, and I can bring you so many clients. I don't need clients. I need money. Well, I need clients and money, but money is priority. Oh, Maria, I don't suppose you're free this afternoon. I'm on full booth on the works. I've got a posh party. Oh, I knew Dev would change his mind. Change his mind? Oh, yes, he, he was worrying about that tie of his. Oh, can you come? I'll pay you cash if you come now. Um, Business first. I'm not hungry anyway. I never eat before six. OK, then, yeah. Just give me another few days, please. I'll think about it. Thank you. A large espresso, please. <laughs> Good afternoon. Oh, hey, please, leave. Look, I'm, I'm offering an apology. I should call the police. Well, I'm not breaking the law, am I? Listen, I am not above hitting anybody with a wooden spoon. I'd actually quite enjoy it. Look, I, I've served my sentence. I paid my debt. And I'm truly sorry for all the hurt that I've caused. She's right. You really are a changed man. I, I don't want to listen to any of this. Well, you better leave Audrey alone. I'm afraid that won't be happening. We're, we're back together. She has forgiven me, and I'm hoping you all will. Oh, the power of love. Mm -hmm. I'm offering my sincere apologies, Roy. Whether you choose to accept it, that's up to you. Good afternoon. Thank you. Mm. You look for you, Mrs. Connor. Hey! Oh, crikey, I thought I'd taken this out. Oh, that. You look smart. Where are you off to? Oh, um, the cat rescue centre. Oh, I hate cats. <laughs> Mrs. Connor, I don't suppose you're looking for any machinists, are you? I thought you moved up in the world. Some big start-up company or something. Yeah, um, it's not for me. Just asking for a friend. Oh, right. Well, there might be. Get him to drop off the CV. Hi. Right. 